Now, uh, starting from this point forward, maybe the next uh, 20 slides or so, we're going to be talking about some ASCE provisions uh, that are commonly applied to wood construction. Uh, there, if, if you are familiar with ASCE 7, you'll notice there's some areas where ASCE 7 seismic gives special treatment to light frame, and I've tried to highlight those areas. Uh, if you're not familiar, um, that's fine too, um, because I will be spending a little more time on those areas uh, as they tend to catch the eye of the user. Um, just to satisfy everyone's curiosity here, um, we, we did get a good response back uh, from the group on the question we've asked about if you're familiar, not familiar, expert, or very familiar. And I'm getting, um, in general, a somewhat familiar response from folks. Uh, some people um, are in the not familiar camp, which is perfectly fine. I think this presentation is really catered uh, towards those people that aren't that don't consider themselves experts already. So this is table 1221 from ASCE 7. Uh, this is a very important table for seismic design of wood structures. Um, seismic design of wood structures in ASCE 7 uh, is almost always by the lateral equivalent lateral force method, ELF for short. And in that methodology, uh, you're required to have a defined seismic system uh, with associated seismic coefficients. And um, uh, here on this slide, uh, what, what I'd like to highlight is that I've extracted some of the, um, sorry, I've extracted some of the uh, wood systems that are available in table 1221. Uh, question for the audience, if you can see my pointer, I'm trying to highlight some of these things as I go through. If you don't mind while I pause a second. Okay, here we go. Very good. So uh, by far the most uh, prevalent uh, wood lateral resisting system is the wood frame shear wall. Uh, item 15 in table 1221 is light frame wood wall sheet with wood structural panels rated for shear resistance. Item 17 light frame walls with shear panels of other materials. Those other materials uh, most commonly would be gypsum wallboard, stucco, structural fiberboard. And then item six under cantilevered columns, uh, you might get something like a post frame structure where posts are embedded in the ground. Uh, those are typically one story structures. Also, you might get pile supported structures that fall in this group. Uh, there's two things uh, I wanna mention about um, this item 15. Number one, uh, there is an errata to ASCE 710 that clarifies that this light frame system is applicable, applicable only to wood structural panels rated for shear resistance. There's a typo in ASCE 710 that made it appear as though steel sheets were also a permitted system on wood frame. Uh, steel sheets are permitted and recognized for steel studs, but they are not permitted for wood studs. Uh, the other thing I want to point out here is uh, this table also contains a height limit. So if you're doing seismic design of wood structure using the wood frame shear wall, your height limit is 65 feet. In contrast, if you have a light frame shear wall that's sheared with another material like gypsum, the height limit is 35 feet. And if I could just ask uh, those watching to remember that this category 17 is limited to seismic category D within ASCE 7. And as we get further into the presentation, you'll see there's some further limits on these other systems in category 17. And I'll, I'll remind you of those when we get to that point. 